the greatest debate that we have in life is what takes preeminence or what takes priority in our life. Is it God, ministry, or family? Allow me to submit to you that this question deserves our attention. Number one, God takes preeminence over everything. He is the creator of heavens and earth, and he created us for a purpose. And the Bible says that whatever we do, whether we eat or drink, we do it as unto the glory of God. I remember St. Augustine, the great bishop of Hippo, a theologian and a churchman. He said, we are made for God. And the soul of man is restless. And it continues to be restless until it finds rest in God. Therefore, without a shadow of doubt, God takes preeminence over everything. And is our ultimate priority. Secondly, after God, Family takes the second spot in our life. I remember in my family, my wife, Reverend Lydia, my three children, Hazel, Amy, and Aleki, they take preeminence. After God, it's family. Also, I have My brothers and sisters, part of the Chesosis family, they are part of family. Then from there, we go to ministry. Ministry takes number three. But all of it, we must do it with dedication and commit commitment. We are committed to God, committed to family, and also committed to serve in the ministry and the Lord's vineyard. I cannot tell how much sometimes the ministry is intertwined in family, with family. We serve with my wife. Sometimes I take her to the parish. Sometimes she takes me to the parish. We serve together harmoniously, sing in the vehicle as we go about. And I pray that always may we serve the Lord with commitment as a family. Because sometimes family and ministry, they are inextricably intertwined. That is, you cannot sever one from the other. The other family that we have is the extended family of the parishes that we serve. I serve at Emmanuel Nasokol Parish, and I also assist in serving at um, St. Barnabas Soimining Parish. These are our family. We always remember to pray for them in the evening and in the morning and wherever we get the opportunity. These are the family that we cherish and they are very critical in our life and ministry. Just as I always say, we love the people, we use the resources. We don't love the resources and use the people. We love the people that we are called to serve. It is my honest prayer that we'll always love serving the people. Wherever the Lord leads us, we will go without a mama. Just as he says, Go ye into the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and commanding them to obey all that I have taught them. Lo, I will be with you to the very end of time. In ministry, let's remember that we are always called to go ye. There are no blessings in ministry without going. Pastoral visitation counseling, 
teaching, preaching, admonishing, administering, all of it goes. All of it are attended to when we go ye. Number two, we have not always God ye, go ye, but we have also taught, preached, and taught. Number three, we have always seen God with us in the ministry. He has never abandoned us. May the Lord richly bless you. May the Lord bless all the families that we are connected with. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>